Hello everyone, this is Swan with Black Box Stocks. Hope you're having a great day so far. This is a quick little tutorial on how to use the app that we released a few weeks ago. So this is available for download currently on either the uh, App Store through your iOS devices, or you can get it at Google Play for Android. A um, Couple things to note here. Um, you do have to have an active subscription with Black Box in order to access it. You can download the app for free, but it does ask you to enter your user ID, email, and password to gain access. If you're interested in doing that, just see the link posted in this video and we'll get you taken care of. Uh, so this is the, the main landing page when you first come into the app. A few things to note is the, I'm gonna first going to have you come up here to the home button and click on that hamburger, the three little lines there, because you can set under alert settings which push notifications you want pushed to your phone. So let's say you have your phone uh, you know, at work and you want to see what alerts come through. This is where you access which alerts you want pushed directly to and be notified of. So you can turn these on. Uh, you can click on whichever ones you want. And once you do that, the setting is saved and then you will get those alerts and they'll show up as pop-ups and notifications on your home screen and on your phone. Go back to the home page. Um, the class calendar is found here. I also want to highlight that. Remember, all of the education is free to Black Box members. Click on the Learn More button, and it automatically populates the class calendar. At that point, all you do is click on the class you want to take or want more information on, and it will automatically register you, and you'll get an email with that registration and a reminder for that class. Okay. Uh, also up here, you have the stock guide and the options guide. I recommend looking through those because it tells you what the different colored alerts mean. On the stock side, on the options guide, it explains to you what the different alerts mean too. What does roulette, bullish, or bearish mean? Things like that. So read through those as well. The next thing is the stocks symbol. This takes you to the stock page where you just have a nice quick little reference of the Qs and the SPY and DIA. You can click on these and you can then see those different stocks and what they're doing. You can see uh, we're in a decline today. Um, you can also add filters, or I'm sorry, add studies. So let's say I want to add a dark pool to that list. You can see the dark pool levels populate. Let's say I want to add the Orb 30 uh, study. So that I can see there's my high for the first 30 minutes, and here's my low for the first 30 minutes. Um, if you want to add VWAP in there, you just click on studies, come down here to the Vs. And you can see VWAP added in there with the red line. So you can add the studies in as well, take a quick glance at it, and uh, different time frames of the chart as well. If I go back to the main page, options, this is where a lot of people hang out. So if you click on flow, you're going to see just continuous flow come in. Because I was on the queues, I'm only seeing QQQ flow. So I click all, now I'm getting all flow that's coming in from all different tickers. And this just continues to cycle through as the flow comes in and as our system picks it up. So you never miss it as it starts to populate in. A lot of features here. You can look at historical flow. You can see what the alerts are doing, uh, volume, open interest, uh, most active calls, most active puts, most bullish flow right now is uh, Tesla. The most bearish flow we're seeing uh, Apple. So that's kind of gives you a nice quick little reference on what's bullish and what's bearish at the moment. All right, so we go back to charting. Again, this is another way of looking at charts. It's another area that you can look at charts. Um, if you want to click on the news feature or you want a different ticker, you can just type in here. Let's say I want to type in Apple. Find Apple. It brings up the Apple chart. And then if I click here, it's going to take me to the news tab. And I can see all of the news that's come in uh, that's related to the ticker that I'm looking at. Kind of a nice quick reference to get to the news side of things. Uh, community, this is basically what the system looks like. Let me get back to here. Is this what our system looks like on the web, web-based platform? Obviously, all the different rooms available. Main chat is our most active. And what I love about that is you can then search, excuse me, <clears throat> you can search for different things. You can type in messages. You can interact with the community. You can also listen in to what's happening on level two, or I'm sorry, what's happening on Discord. So this is a a live stream of what's happening over on Discord. You can hear the moderators talk about flow, uh, news alerts, options, um, dark pool that's come in, things like that. So you can keep an eye on that too. That's all found under the community section of the app. And then you have your top gainers, top decliners, the alert log. The alert stream is also customizable. So if I click on all, I'm going to see all of the alert stream come in here, but I can filter it to only see certain things that I want to see. So let's say I only want to see tickers that are hitting 52-week highs today. 
Is there any? Let's see. Let it think about it for a moment. It's a lot of data to sort through. There are some. So there's one right there. VMCA is hitting 52 week high. So you can filter the uh, filter as needed. You want to see only dark pool prints, you can do that. If you want to, want to see uh, options alerts, you can do that as well and hit apply and it will sort through that. Okay. So that's the alert stream. You can look at the pre-market scanner, shows you the top 30 up, top three down based off of the close of the day prior. Market scan will show you what's going on currently, top up, top down. So here's all the tickers that are up. Here's the tickers that are down the most. A post-market scan will start when the market closes. So it tells you there at 4 p.m. Eastern, it will kick in and it resets volume back to zero. So you don't have to worry about how many, how many shares traded during the regular trading hours. It resets it to zero. We love this for um, ERs and news related moves. So we love that post-market scanner. Okay. There's the alert log that we looked at earlier and also the alert stream all found in one spot there under the post market scan or any of these you can get to it volume ratio talks about what the volume is today compared to the average 10-day volume okay so for example target this morning uh, reported and they're trading currently seven times its average 10-day volume already today so a lot of interest in that downward mo move based off of their er that they reported this morning we talked about the news feature um, we talked about education. Click on education, takes you to the same place as this button does here. And then stock twits as well. If there's a certain ticker you want to look at, you can click on stock twits. And uh, let's say I type in TGT. And it will quickly just give me data that is being um, talked about just on the target ticker itself. And then the my alerts. My alerts talks about the flow play. So this is one of the where this is the area you get to the flow plays at you, that get pushed out. This is the best of the best, the pristine flow that gets pushed out from the app uh, to the app to everybody. So you can click on flow plays, and then if you switch over to team trades, then you'll also see any trades that our moderators or team traders have put in. So you can see here, Jenny this morning got into Spy, uh, paid thirty nine cents. She sold some here. Uh, oh no, actually set her stop to sixty. Uh, so and this is where you find all of the team trades as well. Again, the, the app is available for download currently. It is an amazing tool for everybody. Please, please, please download it as soon as possible to have that uh, f information, the news, the flow, the options, all right there at your fingertips while you're on the go. All right, again, this is Swam of Black Box Stocks. Thanks for listening. And remember, at Black Box Stocks, no one trades alone.